Like I also give this very large package and that's the Wild Badger Power Cordless Trimmer Edger. Yeah, it's definitely not my first Wild Badger Power device and it won't be my last one because they have been working all absolutely awesome, perfectly good quality so i think it's a really really good brand and that's their brand new etcher trimmer device at least as of spring 2024 and it's not just a normal basic trimmer it's a very very powerful i've always been thinking of maybe switching to a gas trimmer because sometimes i didn't have enough power with my existing trimmer but i think this is an awesome combination so i don't have to switch to a gas trimmer which i don't really like but still have something powerful comes with a standard switchable 40 volts battery from wild badger but again it's not only one tool we have two in one you can use this as a trimmer and then switch this easily into an edger which has also this convenient wheel for very precise cutting you also have a large battery which can last up to 30 minutes even with a high 6500 rpm so regarding the specs everything looks top notch so i'm going to take it out of the box show you how to assemble and then of course how to use it outside so stay tuned till the very end of the video what we also can see in the box is that it comes with a three year residential warranty and it says that it includes two bonus spools for hassle free line replacement that could also be very helpful and you can see everything has arrived in very good condition very well packaged very well organized and so here we have all the parts and you can see pretty much everything is already pre-assembled so you don't have to do a lot and i've been just looking at all the items for around five minutes and i think i got already everything how we have to do the rest you can see the instructions manual is still here inside but of course if you do that i highly recommend to read everything in detail before but my goal is always to find out if i can assemble it without the instructions manual and usually that's the good thing with wild badger it's definitely not difficult to assemble and of course one of the first things we connect the charger to power and so we slide the battery on top of it or actually vice versa so here we can see that it's blinking green that means charging as soon as we have a steady green it will be fully charged but the good thing is we get also charging indicator here we can see we have three out of four lights that's a 75 percent charge which is perfect for long-term storage so it looks like they know what they are doing and so during the time till we have the full charge we can assemble it of course we have to open this part here otherwise we cannot slide it on top but the good thing is you can see even though when we open it we can pull it apart and the screw stays secured here inside and so i open this all the way to the back or even fully remove then i pull out this metal bracket and so since this part here is already pre-assembled we cannot fully pull it apart we have to bend this to open a little bit so we can slide this over the pole by the way that's the top here you can see the brand name and so the opening will be here on the top and according to the picture this will also be on top and this handle will be to the front and so we pull this a little bit apart and then moving over the pole then we push this bracket again underneath the plastic doesn't look too difficult we align it here again and so we have the nut on this side and so we need to screw from the right side you can see i'm halfway through it just keep rotating clockwise and so we are getting close i can feel that it's getting tight and so i turn this around so we can see the badger label and then we align the handle and so you can adjust it where you want to have it so it's perfect for you so about in this position looks perfect for me but you can really adjust it as you want it and then we fully secure it and so you can see we have nice grip here and then of course we need also some basic installation for the protection and the wheel here in the front and so when we turn this around we see that we have four holes for the screws we have one two three and number four and we have exactly the same thing here we have one two three and four and we can see the holes here in this black cover 
and so we fully align it here very easy to do we have it already correct here just push it up here and to secure we need this set of screws which is included there are even a lot of spare screws and of course we need a screwdriver which is not included but that's definitely the only thing which is not included and so we secure the screws from underneath i highly recommend to do this manually not use an electric screwdriver it could be too much just takes a couple of seconds anyway that's number two here screw number three on the left side and number four and down here we have the protection which we can remove be careful this is pretty sharp i mean of course not super sharp but it's sharp enough to cut these threads you can adjust the trimming with, with these two screws a little bit so we can have it like that for 13 inches or we can unscrew it and then flip this cutter 180 degrees and secure it again with these two screws and then it will be 11 inches cutting width and now of course the core of the cutting and that looks absolutely awesome it's also very large and to remove you have to push from both of the sides on these two areas which have some grip you can see we can push here inside we can turn it around and also push here so we push really from both of the sides and then we can remove the cap here and so now we have access to this spool you can see we could easily remove it and put it back i don't have to do that and we have these two openings here for the cutting threads so we have a dual blade or actually dual thread cutting and we have also this replacement thread here so i leave this on the side and to adjust the length for the first trimming is very easy we just pull here on both of the sides and then push here in this blue button a couple of times but of course when you are outside during normal operation process then we are just pushing it down a couple of times while using the trigger and then it will extend the thread you can see works exactly as any other trimmer absolutely perfect and if it's too long you can rotate this thing just back super super easy so i leave it like that and close this opening just align it and push it back here inside and so now we need battery we just pull it down push it to the back and now we can slide this large battery here inside just give it a push and here in the back we have this convenient safety trigger function so when we just pull here nothing will happen we really have to push here first with the thumb and then we can pull the trigger up we will hear that it starts working and of course we can also extend this pole we can unlock it and then pull it apart easily you can see we can increase the length almost to double the size and then we can secure it after that again and here in the back we have also this convenient hanging hook and so after doing the whole assembly just intuitively i finally opened the manual reddit double checked everything and it looks like i have done everything right so that confirms that assembly is very easy and so i've been outside and uh, yeah just had to add the battery was ready to go used it to remove a little bit of weeds and cut a little bit around these edges worked absolutely awesome as you can see super super powerful absolutely no problem very efficient yeah pretty amazing what you can do it's super versatile even can be used here to give a really nice beautiful shape to these small plants again super easy to get rid of all these small weeds also here in the corner watch this thing leaning up here on the side work absolutely awesome you can see super powerful and the switching process between edge and trimmer couldn't be easier works back and forth just within a second and so this works absolutely awesome here also as an edge you can see we produce just one single clean straight cut it keeps working 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 and so i've been outside for a while and doing a lot of cleanup so it looks absolutely awesome now haven't found any disadvantages to be honest was very easy to use it's not too heavy and definitely has a great balance 
and of course super super powerful much more powerful than my old trimmer so full recommendation from my side and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time